Michelle Schaefer here from michelleschaefer.com with an answer to a question that I was asked this week and that is how do I back up my website? I use a couple different methods personally to back up my website. One of them is the cPanel backup wizard. This is an option that you have if you're hosting with a cPanel website host. And as you can see, I'm already logged into cPanel here. I'm going to go back to the home page. When you log into cPanel, you probably see something similar to this. And if you'll scroll down, you'll find some backup options here. If you click the backup link, it takes you to this page. And you can see here, I can download the daily, weekly, or monthly copy of my web hosting account. This is not just the files for my website, or not just my database, but it's also my email accounts, my website statistics, everything that is stored in my hosting space. So this is a great type of backup to keep. This is a backup that it's kind of difficult to pull something out from it yourself unless you're really familiar with unzipping programs and the setup of a website as far as the databases, what you would see in a file manager. But it's something that you should keep because from this backup, your entire web hosting space can be restored with a couple of clicks by your website host. So if the worst would happen and your website suddenly goes boom and it's not there anymore, this is the backup that your host can easily restore for you. So by saving this backup to my computer, I've got a copy of everything as it was at that particular time. Your website host makes these backups automatically and they're probably storing them for you either on the same server that you're on or on another server. Um, some hosts do offer remote backup, but the problem is if they have a major data loss, you may lose not just your main website, but also any backups of it. So you don't want to rely just on your website host to keep these backups. Most are responsible. They're storing them off site somewhere. But if you read your terms, they're going to tell you you've got to make your own backups. So to download this, you just click the button. It's very simple. It'll pop up and say, where do you want to save this and let you save it. And once you've done that, you've got a whole copy of your website, your email, everything stored on your computer. So I recommend going in and doing this once a week, once a month, anytime you make major updates, um, keep a copy of this one in addition to whatever other backup options you're using to save a copy of your blog, WordPress plugins, whatever you've already got set up. This is a great one to have in addition to that. I hope this tip has been helpful and you can visit me at michelleschafer.com for more tips for bloggers and website owners.